guys just picked up a ton of toys yeah the trunk is full there's about 200 action figures in here some pretty uh crazy stuff in there as well some knockoffs hopefully now i'll get home and i'll try figuring out what this stuff goes to good pickup so far in the uh, house we're still renovating but um, we started living here again so that's fun I mean wires everywhere and stuff <laughs> anyways I picked up this huge collection <laughs> as you can see over here there's quite some boxes with loads of toys in here so first I'm gonna browse through all of these with you guys so you can already get like a glimpse of what's in there then I'm really gonna take a look at everything and spread it out so you guys know what is in there I'll do like a setup where I will show you what I'm keeping for my collection what stuff is gonna go out into the open when I do some more toy conventions I know I'm gonna be at the toy vintage toys of the universe convention in Belgium in November somewhere. Uh, I'm heading out to Retropalooza again in uh, Texas during October, but um, uh, I won't be selling there anything like that. Uh, then in June, I will be at Game Walhalla, the convention, and I might pop over to the Retro Game Burst in Tilburg, the Netherlands. So that stuff is coming up, and I will bring some toys along, um, you know, because Obviously when you buy a lot like this, you're gonna have some doubles and that uh, kind of recoups the costs and keeps that collecting train going. Okay, so as you can see, we got three boxes in cardboard and not one, but five of these filled <laughs> toy boxes. They're barely together. Over there we got a Thunderbirds Tracy Island and a J. Joe General. So I'm um, hoping that thing is kind of complete because I, I don't know about you guys, but it's a tough one to sell. I've had that one in box before. Not really my thing, but um, hopefully somebody will find it cool. Let's just dig in. So over here, we have some, uh, ooh, some dragon walkers and um, I'm not sure what this is like. Uh, micro machine stuff, some Thunderbirds. Ooh, and that's like the fighter stuff. You pop a guy on there and then you can kind of like kick around, ninja kick around. Here we got Mighty Max, we got Beetlejuice stuff. And here are some broken toys, but you know, you never know. You can kind of like piece these together. This one was a fun find. This is actually the Brave Star. Hey, and there's a guy in there, even. Well, this is the Brave Star um, wagon and some more G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, then we'll move over to this box right here. Some more G.I. Joe guys that are thrown in. Ooh, we got some lanterns. The core, yeah. I remember having uh, like 20 of these guys. And hey now, hey now, check this out. This is a European exclusive Tiger Force figure. What? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, hit and run, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see, the crotch is still in good condition and both the hands, not too many scratch marks. So that's a pretty cool find in here, honestly. Oh, there's so much Joes in here, guys. Ooh, some cool uh, knockoff uh, Motu 5.5ers. Here's uh, some Battle Cat action, Mer Dude. Ooh, got a Steel Brigade. That's not a really good one, actually. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Is this Cops and Crooks? There's a Cops and Crooks figure in here. What? <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe it. What? No, there's... What? There's two Steel Brigades in here. I actually have some, some Transformer stuff. This is a, a Pretender. I'm not familiar with all those. <laughs> names for those but um it's, it's cool to see it's definitely cool to see uh moving over to this next box like i said we're, we're gonna move through this real quickly this is actually a j joe mail away uh diorama you could win whoa that's nice that's uh that's a good one j joe flying thing we got some battle cats this thing uh definitely caught my eye when i first saw it and it took me a while to figure out what this was. This is actually a Power Lords mutant vehicle. So um, 
I was never expecting to find this. I remember seeing it um, when I was looking up the toy line and thinking like, if I ever come across this, I'm gonna have to pick it up. And now I have it. So that's awesome. Ooh, Nightmare Warrior, I think. I think it, this is a Nightmare Warrior. And our, kind of like, um, uh, some some people classify it underneath like the Motu 5.5 knockoffs, but uh, just a cool knockoff line, honestly. Not sure where this came from. So a guy reached out to me. He had bought this over at a garage sale, or he, he had just like answered like somebody that was selling all this. He said, "I got there quickly. I got it for a good price. If you want it, just make me an offer." So I did, and um, he said, "There's like about 200 figures in here, and if they're all in this good of a shape." I haven't seen too many accessories. Um, then this is gonna be pretty good, actually. Um, I'm gonna be able to add a lot of new stuff. This is McDonald's, I'm not sure which Disney movie this goes to, but we got, we got a Pantor. Got, whoa, a lot of Battle Cats. And some of that sound effect stuff still working. <laughs> is, is that you? Whoa, hey. Not sure what this line is. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we got some micro machine stuff in here. Here we got the Thunderbirds. So maybe we'll be able to piece together this Tracy Island. Hey now. Uh, not too much, not, not too big into the micro machine stuff though. Moving on, next box. Ah, uh, this is one of those crazy toys. I'm not sure if these are desirable. It's not something I would personally buy, but maybe I'll I'll just pop it on the shelf because it just looks cool. It's like this RoboCop machine gun 2001 cosmic cop thing. So lots of sights, lights, and sounds action on this thing right here. But uh, it's cool. Even some mask is in here. So uh, this is one of my favorites, Riptide or, or so, some some sort of name like that. And there's even some Star Wars. I never come across Star Wars here in Belgium usually. Yeah, guys. So this is like just a quick overview. What I'm gonna do is I'll pop all of these toy lines together so you can see in its entirety how many He-Men are in here, how many Thundercats. So yeah, let's flip it to the next screen. been a couple days I've been through all of these boxes and uh, I gotta say there's some cool stuff in here let's take a look so yeah don't mind the mess we're still renovating over here and uh, I had to kind of like find a spot where I could actually like just set up everything because there's a load of boxes and lots of toys first box right here um, just some he-man some masters of the universe stuff thrown in some accessories were on these we got two dragon walkers i'm not sure if they work or anything and a load more of figures um one of the coolest things in here is probably something i still needed is this buzz off with his weapon with the top thing and the wings still intact he might have another accessory but uh this is um, as far as anything I've come across, this is the closest I'm gonna get him to complete right now. There's one flocked Pantor in here. Is uh, flocking is still pretty good, but the the paint apps on the figure itself are a bit off. And then we have a couple of Battle Cats, all Malaysia ones. So none of the France ones or or any like um, real uh, big differences in colors or anything. Uh, we got one set of gear without the belt. But uh, it's all good. And then we have this vehicle, which the name eludes me now, but I don't have this yet. So gonna go into the collection, some more accessories, and then we have a whole bunch of Thundercats right here. A couple Mumras, a couple Linos, and uh, this dude, uh, not aware of the name, but he looks in pretty good condition. I don't have this one yet, so he's going into the collection, as well as this Berserker Cruncher really nice and uh found a weapon that i don't have yet he was on this dude right here um i'm not that knowledgeable on the names for these characters but um if that's his weapon then i'm gonna add it to the one i have on display right now so that's another win then we'll move over to the gi joe section so 
right here I laid out a couple of things that I wanted to talk about but there's a ton there's maybe 200 J. Joe figures in here there's multiples of, of dudes in here so a couple of army builders if you're looking for them um, and uh, just a load of like characters I already know and obviously some lanterns are in here so always love those but uh, let's take a look at some of the the highlights in this thing right here over here we have a couple of steel brigades I'm not sure which version these guys are but yeah these are sought after uh, a really a uh, fun army builder, a mail away, but it kept going for a couple years. And there's also a golden variant that came out, which is very sought after. Then over here, I was surprised to find uh, a couple of Tiger Force action figures, a hit and run over here, and not one, but two sneak peeks. Um, unfortunately, like most of uh, the things in here, there's no accessories. Over here we got Keel Hall, who is the uh, captain for the US flag, I do believe. We got a Cobra Commander, we got some of these, um, what is it, Iron Grenadiers, I'm not sure if it's this one or that one. And we got a knockoff here. Um, I'm always looking for fun Cobra type of dudes, so these are in here. We got Major Dudes. <laughs> I'm really bad with the names on these. We got some Storm Shadows, there's also uh, the first version in there somewhere but uh, I can dig it out right now then we have a shipwreck and our snake eyes is in here and there's actually some action force so I don't come across this stuff too often all of these are probably gonna stick with me because I just don't have any uh, love the guys that look a little bit more badass so this guy is definitely staying in the collection now we have a variety knockoffs you got the kaidos you got the lanterns you got the uh i guess maybe these are remcos but i'm not sure and then some newer lanterns which looked really cool check this out again with like this flyer type of thing and then we'll go over to the next box all of these figures were just thrown together so I really had to separate them into Thundercats, Motu, got all the G.I. Joe's in here and then this is just miscellaneous stuff Ghostbusters things in here we got some wrestlers and um, loads of just like weird stuff I don't even know what this guy is from so if you know leave it down in the comments below got some Transformers pretenders here um, this thing we already pointed out but this is a Power Lords cool awesome vehicle that's definitely going into the collection and our pretender and then we found some Brave Star so yeah hiding in there is one figure this is what is it like the the wagon wheel thing I don't know if this goes to it as well I should have probably done the research before doing this video then we got the bartender guy which I don't own yet so this one's going into collection and over here we have I think he's called sandstorm and our fun thing about this lot is that there were a lot of 5.5 knockoff type dudes in here i'm not sure which line these go to but um there's definitely some fun ones over here we got this lion dude maybe a song gold here's another good looking one and this thing i'm not sure about so if any of you guys have any information on this dude um he comes apart because like his body is magnetized so his limbs they all can come off and have this these big magnets on them so um a little bit bigger so probably like a six inch figure he does have a, a little bit of a resemblance to a he-man after a rough saturday night i would say if you know what this dude is about let me know in the comments down below a little bit of star wars got sprinkled in we got a tauntaun and a couple of figgies right here we got the squid face we got this dude and we got the unlimited power guy this one actually sold a while back and i was hoping to find back and this one is a soft head so that's crazy because the one i had before i guess his legs didn't move this one doesn't have articulation over there and he is a soft head that's crazy these guys were a blast from the past so what you would do is you'd pop them on top of one of these things right here with the hole in the leg and then you could fight your friend and it would be like a rock'em sock'em kind of thing a kind of deal like that it would push over here and he would like jump off of the the pedestal that he's on a 
then you could like keep score and everything. Uh, this is something me and a buddy of mine used to play all the time, honestly. One turly gang with kind of a leg issue, so hopefully I'll get that sorted out and he's gonna go into the army of turly gang figures anyway. This, I was hoping to be an imperial gorilla or Kong action figure, but uh, I, I can't seem to find the Imperial logo on this dude, unfortunately. But still a fun one, so probably gonna go into the collection as well. A couple of mini figgies, we got some Dino Riders, we got some mask stuff, and this I had to go and look for, because this is an 80s Tron figure, and uh, <laughs> I was definitely not expecting to find that. One Black Star figure with his bazooka and some more knockoff. Goodness, we got a, a funky looking Rambo over here, and then some Tonka and some adventure people. Loads of variety in this lot. This thing is a Beetlejuice, yeah, a Beetlejuice vehicle. So I don't really have too much yet. I just picked up like one figure, and uh, this is probably also just gonna go on display to kind of make it complete. Then in this bin, we had just some more miscellaneous stuff. All right, here is like a Tonka accessories for, for those guys. We got a foot soldier weapon, and then this thing is cool. This is Brave Star's uh, hat, I do believe, and mine is missing it, so. <laughs> Finally, I have it. I'm hoping you guys know, but maybe this is like a Brave Star gun. Maybe it belongs to a different toy line. Let me know in the comments down below. This thing goes to Sandstorm, the, uh, the guy right there. And then we have a couple of G.I. Joe accessories and I'm not sure what this is. Might this be a Star Wars accessory or something else? If you know, leave it down in the comments below, please. Thank you so much in advance. And now we'll move on to some Mighty Max stuff. We got um, the Magus over here. We got the, uh, I guess the Tick thing and the Scorpion right there. And uh, over here, I kind of laid it out for you guys. So we have this big playset. I guess it's the Vulcan playset, uh, which I don't have. So I was very fortunate that this one was in here. I get to add it to the collection. There's some more bits. This thing goes to the Shark. This thing goes to Magus. And just a ton of Mighty Max figgies in here. And some bad guys. So yeah. Uh, just good times all around, honestly. Loads of accessories and uh, some dragons, but if you're a Mighty Max collector, you know that uh, you're gonna want to hold on to these Mighty Max figures for sure. Uh, one of the things I'm not really into is Thunderbirds, but this is the Tracy Island set, and these are some of the bigger figures in the three and three quarter inch scale. So that was in there. We have a G.I. Joe General, a toy I've had in the box before, but it's huge and it doesn't really appeal to me, so I usually let it go. So this one's probably gonna come along to one of the next retro game shows we're gonna set up at, me, Matthias, and Renzo. And uh, here's some Micro Machine stuff. There's a lot more Micro Machine stuff in here. Again, I'm not educated on it, but it was in the lot. Here's some Playmobil. And uh, a cool robot you would probably get over at a fair or something. Some more G.I. Joe things. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> and uh, here's the mail away diorama that you could get only in Europe for G.I. Joe. So it consists of two parts. As you can see over here, it does have all of the G.I. Joe paperwork on it. And then just some more G.I. Joe vehicles. Now, I didn't really see anything that... Um, that was worth pointing out in here. But um, if you do see something that's really cool, uh, let me know. There's, you know, like a boat. One thing that was in here is, is like this. It's kind of like this thing uh, look kind of cool. Definitely, if I'm gonna be displaying a couple of my J. Joe figures, this is kind of like this uh, army little base set. And uh, over here, we got a tank. So, yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much all of it right here. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, <laughs> I think I'm still pretty glad picking all of this stuff up. I, like, like I said, I hopped off the plane from the US. 
uh, back into Belgium and uh, Kevin, a friend of mine, he hit me up and I was like, hey, I found all this stuff. Do you wanna buy it? Maybe it, it makes more sense that you divide it up and uh, since you know some vintage guys. So there's definitely some good stuff for my own collection and all the other things I'm just gonna bring along to toy shows and hopefully I'll get some of that spending cash back and uh, you know, flip it around just a little bit. Just a little bit of flipping. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for tuning in to this uh, impromptu episode because uh, uh, I guess I should have done a video on this. Uh, why not? Um, if you like vintage toy videos, then definitely subscribe to the channel. If you want to do more, you can always buy a t-shirt in the Thing Spring link down below, or you can join us on Patreon where you get exclusive blocks. Some exclusive videos are coming up and um, yeah. We have an exclusive Discord as well, where we talk toys all the time. Definitely let me know what the uh, coolest thing in here is, and sorry about the mess. Like I said, we're renovating. Yeah, we're renovating, and the new toy room is coming soon. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye.